Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! First time ever playing Red Dead game. How bad can I do? Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But. We are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so... They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. 
been two days or more like this now. It has to blow over soon. It says hold X to match him. And yet I end up way the hell out of the way. Someone coming towards us. Whoa! You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. The place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. In front of you. Okay, go. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. <coughs> So I change views.
Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Pitch up here. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. that up. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. <laughs> essentials, whiskey. Big old pool of blood. 
blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Bastard was married to. Probably taking a lot longer than most people. <laughs> Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh I don't know anything else. <laughs>
Sheriff. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... 
the situation were reversed, <laughs> he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. You wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. John, you tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. <laughs> Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Kind of cool. They keep you entertained at least while you're. Careful, it's getting narrow here. Riding the horse forever. Snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? See if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Not 
This. It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Can you know that we're high up here? You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Doing? I'm miserable. Then it's a few days. I know. Keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? John! What's up, Corey? John! John, where are you? John! Marsh! I'm here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Over here! Playing some Red Dead too. He's down here! I'm down here! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Let's try this way. 
Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw him off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave him to Arthur. <laughs> He's got a rod, bitch. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Ah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, I knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave the trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. <clears throat> I love the cinematic view on this. Because, I mean, hell, you're on that damn horse ah! most of the game. Thank you, I think. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I got a switch. We've been running for weeks. We found shelter. Yep, I've been playing on it for the past couple few days. I have not played PS4 since. Hardly the spring I had been Like Thursday. I actually got online just to plug in my new headset to see if I liked it. We wait. Kinda didn't. So now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me, too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. Oh, we need you. Of course, does. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> I'm gonna learn how to hunt today. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> this way. Are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. 
<sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah, I got my Switch and I got a 128 gigabyte micro SD put in it. Three times, I think it's three times. Four, I think it's about four times actually. The memory that's in it. Yeah, four times. Because it comes with a 32 gigabyte memory. And I've got four games. The fourth one just hasn't showed up yet. I'll take my plumbing license exam December 7th. And I go pick up uh, Super Smash Brothers December 7th. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, it won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. That bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Now, Arthur. Good shot. Now let's try for another.
Damn. This game is that detailed you can literally see the deer's prints in the snow. Oh shit. Up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go grab the you, other one. You kill an animal and you can literally if you hit an animal and you don't kill it, you can literally follow the blood trail as you would in real life. The detail, dude. There's my horse. Like, I just shot the deer, right? And I didn't get it in one shot? Yeah. I could literally, like, see where I hit it the first time. Yes. I've been playing on the Switch, so. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Careful. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <coughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, but well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. The problem That's is, is people we'll don't like R-rated cartoons, as they li as you know I know it's an anime. Is? since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go. From and what I've from what up. I've seen, the you amount of blood in that, it should be R-rated. That girl from the ranch now too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a yeah. look in her like, eye. You would too. She lost her husband, Berserk. Her home. Everything yeah. Oh had. God. But no, Berserk. I, I'm sorry, but I've never met an anime that could compete with Berserk when it came to guts. Or yeah, guts. <laughs> Gore. Yeah. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them. I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. Oh. Well, see, I've never actually watched it. I've seen uh, clips of it on YouTube, on uh, Facebook. No.
Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. I think spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Whoa! Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Yeah. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. Yeah, you... Oh, not at all. Just... I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. I mean, that's typical with me. most Sir, RPGs, though. With Once you hit a certain Dutch. point, you never find, you never fight more goblins. Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. But for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That ain't normally the case. Well, we yeah, I know. I'm ju I'm just saying that. More than ever. Good. And boat and. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? No. Oh. Twenty years. Like oh XP God. points or Since experience as in. Twenty years. Yeah. You taught me to read. John too. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees mm. us right. I mean, that's like, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That that's right. their real life. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me take time in the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. What's I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Oh. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Atlantis. Surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. 
Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest your hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. So, I'll see you one of our later. dogs is probably going to pass away soon. One, you dumped on the floor there. Jin Jin. Uh, Jin Jin is my father-in-law's dog, but she's a pug. She's really, really old. Not too bad, Mr. And Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could she train is. These she's like one of the sweetest little gir old girls I know. But uh, she money, started losing right control now, of her bladder. And well, if you catch anything else, yeah, she has pissed me. just sure. today. She's pissed in the living room floor twice, and the amount of urine coming out of her is just ridiculous. I'm talking like, it literally looks like my dog is pissing in the floor with how much urine is coming out of that poor little dog. And then, uh, earlier, earlier on today, she was uh she was upstairs in my mother-in-law's room and then my mother-in-law started freaking out and said she looked like she had a seizure and then pissed all over the floor so we don't think it's gonna be but maybe at most a couple of months she she's been going slow Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days I, on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Yeah, from I you. know. Cool. I don't. I ain't never seen. I don't so want it to happen because it's gonna be sad. But I guess, I guess if folks miss them, that fell. But when I fall, yeah. I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <I'm> party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she had a heart attack. <laughs> Sure. It turned out she had acute heart fit. It was like something wrong with her blood or something. Some super rare disease. Stop it! Now, you fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around wait for him to find us? But basically, her. We got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been yeah. through a lot recently. We hardly kind of like how Poot did. we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's Poot go. just up and got I sick, and the next thing we know, he's here for us. He was done. There was nothing. That. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, yep. You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about. Give me one moment. I gotta go get uh something to drink. I'm thirsty.
Okay. More than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. What's the matter? Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. You said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this poor their planet. Because that's when three comes out. What's that? The tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. They haven't had a sh Amazon has not had a stream today.
as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be he put to rest. One way the or 24th? <laughs> yeah, they've got one from yesterday. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. I would say they got one from yesterday. It was an hour and... Do you know at one point in this hour and a half long stream they did? That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. Okay, because it was an hour and a half long. can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. I thought you were going with Dutch. No. some of them out of there and much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it come on let's get down there don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. That rifle's no use to us sitting on your horse, Arthur. Good. Come on, let's go.
Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm and wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. What is going on? Why are the organization somebody who's in charge of And who was the king of Lady Murder? I never knew about him actually. Come on. It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. this if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go so we got everything we need we don't have time to debate this okay i'll go first Fire magic.
Ups. Boys, now let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go.
good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah? Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man Watch down. Out. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Hmm. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. need to do this. So, while I got you... Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, buddy was telling me that, uh... Shit. Apparently, in one portion of Shit. Red Dead 2, you get raped. ignore the fact that my horse is in a full gallop and this guy is not even bouncing I'll disappear I'll go to Mexico mm, the final episode please mister you better shut your mouth you little shit or I will shut it for you Real about them, honest. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Real? 
trying to test me, is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. God, I love that cinematic camera. At least it makes the uh, the long rides not so boring. You okay? Yeah, we had the same thought. <laughs> Ashley just came downstairs and handed me a bottle of water. I had already went upstairs and grabbed two. Say hi to Joe. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Mm -hmm. Getting bored out of your mind. Getting tired. Hmm. It's been a bad few weeks. Not with them yet. Dutch I haven't hit the point Dutch where I can play together with anybody yet. Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Hey Joe, how far do I have to get in this to get unlock unlock a uh, multiplayer? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to oh, I thought it came out like last week. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? Oh, okay. Uh, then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to go? <clears throat> of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? 
Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. It sounds like his voice is going from all this hollering. So I'm going in from the back. <laughs> I'm going in the back. <laughs> and if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of rail. Road bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on, Arthur. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is 
Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. No. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. What's up? I said you were looking like an idiot for a second there, walking away from the spool of, you know, wire. Uh, I never said I was smart. Kind of explains why that guy has such a little faith in you. Ha ha ha. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any. <clears throat>
we won't mention that. Come on, let's get to the front. What is wrong with you boys? Kill that bastard! How are you doing there? I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know, just stay calm. No, I can move faster. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. You got no way in here. Up. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, light the fuse. Unless you've got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Sir, 
Where's that train? <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parch, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. you find these bonds they worth anything oh sure bearer bonds i think we can probably sell these pretty easily well done now would you get rid of all of this the train yeah get it out of here what about them what do you think i don't know <laughs> it's up to you kill them leave them here take them with you on the train just make sure they don't send no folk after us okay see you back at camp when you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! I need to go find my hat. I left it. Okay, get on the train, quick! On it! Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on! Move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Get a move on! But Stallion! That's what I'm gonna call my horse. But Stallion? Yes. Yep. I do, but I didn't know they just came out with another one. Season 3's finally come out. They're finally coming out with Season 3.
I guess I'll get my hat when it loads. <laughs> I lost my hat. <laughs> my trucker hat. <laughs> hey, Joe. Check out my trucker hat. <laughs> so we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Hey, we'll be you. able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Woohoo! I robbed my first train and everything went not as planned. <laughs> oh god. Hi, Hi Moshi. I leaned back and she comes walking over to me. Yes, the Moosh face who is getting slowly skinnier and skinnier. Don't you think so? Yeah, you can feel it on her sides mostly. I think she's always gonna hang. Yeah, I think that's just gonna be excess skin now. Just because of how fat she was. Lenny! Micah, <laughs> get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> Mushy's. Don't need me. Don't need me that bad. Oh god, I have to, I have, there we go, I'll turn it back into a cinematic. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a damn good price for something that fucking big. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. I'll say less. Pick the wheel up. So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. 
so. Yes. Yes. in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So... How do you like that cinematic view? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. <coughs> we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you.
trying to reach up at you. I'll be there in a minute. Watch out, here comes the moosh. something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too so it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. the mountain, 
rolled east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, Nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials.
concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robbing. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left.
that poor man. Oh, Lombago! It's very serious. It can be deadly. How about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? That fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society mm. lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's mm. one on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What are you doing this for? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. 
This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? <coughs> Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Sir, <laughs> and to being down a year off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Karen in the hotel. 
Well, there's something to be said for consistency, I suppose. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I, hope, uh, I will. Okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't yes, I, I, it were. hurt my well, soul. I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get... I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Get bored. Hey, that's my horn. Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. So the man from Blackwater, did you save him? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. Ah. Uh, All right. Come on. Better part of valor. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. Not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. 
<clears throat> Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mind. friend oh you really were just borrowing it appreciate it hello to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say... You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy. you about to pal. kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Come here, you. I'm just you, these bastards. Come on. We can handle these. Son of a bitch. Right, yeah. 
please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Who's your history. friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them.
can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some oh, okay. sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. See what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. So we'll go deep jungle. Finish that all that up. And show Alice being captured. Or was captured. I'm petting the doggy. How do you save? There it is. <laughs> Mushi is trying so hard to get in my room. Alright, I'm getting off. <clears throat> Good night.